yes welcome to our demonstration video we wish to demonstrate uh, how you can collect field data using some Android app yeah today we are going to demonstrate using Trachilia yeah you can get the app a free app on um, Android store um, but there are also some other apps that you can use um yeah you need to activate your location my location is already on you also need to activate your internet and deactivate power saving in case power saving mode is on yeah you come to your app yeah our clear app is here then you need to press the symbol that takes you where you are like your location yes you can zoom in you can zoom out you can set uh, the map type you can send you can set uh, Google map the normal map that's how it will may look like you can set uh, Google map terrain uh, you can search to open topo uh, that's if you want to see um, yeah the topo the, the contour lines yeah these are examples of contour lines but let's use uh, and the other maps but let's use Google map satellite so you press this symbol to take you at your location uh, you can come to this plus symbol then you can record a GPS track that's if you're going to move along the boundary of the garden or you're going to move from maybe a water source point to the highest point or where you are or where you are planning to deliver water you can create a track the track uh, it's almost the same with recording a GPS track then you can create a waypoint a waypoint is when you're creating a point of interest for example a water source yeah we shall see a water source down there uh, yeah uh, let's start with record GPS track yeah you can you press there then it shows you the coordinates it shows you the accuracy it shows you the altitude it shows you the speed so if you only want altitude you can read you can just read it from there so when you want to start your track you come to this symbol then you start moving yeah let me move a few kilometers a few meters here so it will show you the speed and actually the distance covered yeah our distance is here i've moved so far about three meters i moved the fourth meter so it keeps on counting as you move yes so if you can move from for example water source to the highest point of your tank then after reaching where you want to stop you can come to save um our save you can come to save you give it a name for example water uh water maybe pipe length you can say pipe length uh yeah then you can put a note maybe you can put any note that you wish maybe the point the the, the, the path is turning maybe we need to dig one meter maybe it is uh maybe there is a road across your point i mean across your path then you save it now if you want to measure area um yeah, you can come to record your GPS track. Actually, it's the same. Now, if you don't have GPS location, you'll have to wait until the location is on. And at least the actual is less than two meters. So you start move. You start your measurement. So you move. You move um, along the field boundary, all where you want to measure. Yeah, I'm going to have a short movement here through this garden of ours today uh, where we're going to install fixed sprinkler irrigation system we have actually um yeah we are going we are, we are actually going to test so let me move a short distance but this assumes to be our field boundaries where i want to do me the measurements yeah let me just go back yeah it will keep moving as you move
but when you're reaching corner it is better to slow down you slow down as you as you're approaching a corner such that the corner is taken is uh, the bit accurate so when you reach where you started from like you create a loop you come to save you give it a name maybe coffee uh, coffee plantation give it a description like uh, you can say spacing over the coffee maybe three by three meters two point like that you can give you can put any description maybe the coffee is mature the coffee is young then you save so if you want to share you come to my map list um, you come to the list here then you use this symbol here share now here you can share um, a gpx format file a kml a kmz a csv format but one what we need here is either a gpx or a kml or a kmz file format yeah we may need a csv file format if you're going to generate contour map uh, and we need uh, information in uh, a tabra format yeah now let's um, demonstrate with the gpx you can share via email you can share via whatsapp let's share via G gmail or email yeah you select an email from which you wish to send from and you send you uh, you select an email on which you want to send it to let me have an example of james at wazengineer.com in case you want to copy anyone yeah you put your yeah you compose your email and then you send you send from here yeah i've sent it then you also come to file two of what you measured and follow the same steps of sharing yeah we hope that you may not get challenges with using the app um yeah when actually you can first do some settings uh, of the units you can select uh, metric imperial uh, you can select uh, the points i mean the units through which your elevation and uh, that can be feet kilometers yeah you can come to show tracks you can come to coordinates format track line with this high online map quality uh yeah you can select it expand creation and other information as you would wish and read yeah thank you very much for watching and in case you have any question yeah don't hesitate to contact us via our email address or via whatsapp or via phone call and we shall be glad to answer your inquiry and we are open for suggestions we are open for more knowledge uh, we are open for uh, for any information and uh, we shall be glad to um yeah to receive that kind of information and we're also glad that we can share what we think we know or what we think may um may make um irrigation works and water works more easier for all people thank you